get 2.55% is what you can get on a GIC from Tangerine right now. And any other investment is going to uh, make you less money than that and impose risk upon you. It doesn't make sense for you to buy it, okay, that other investment. That's the idea of the risk premium in a nutshell. That's something I want you to keep in mind as we're going through city by city and doing an analysis of each real estate market in this country. Next comes Winnipeg, Manitoba. Now the price for a single family dwelling in Winnipeg is uh, on average $270,246. For a one bedroom apartment, you'll be charged about $841 on average in Winnipeg. And for a two or three bedroom place, you're gonna be charged about $1,369. Now the uh, rental yields from the point of view of a uh, real estate investor, on the low end, their yields are about three and three quarters of a percent. And on the high end, their yields are a little over 6%. Real estate investors in Winnipeg do uh, much, much better than places in like Vancouver or Victoria, for example, but still not spectacular in my view, given the risks associated with real estate. So on the low end, they uh, beat the GIC by 1.18%. So again, ask yourself, am I being adequately compensated over absolute risk-free if I'm only making 1.2% more than GIC? Is it good for me to be in real estate or should I sell it? and they barely beat the dividend yield on the Royal Bank uh, with uh, 13 basis points or 13% of 1%. And the high end in Winnipeg, Manitoba, they're doing a little bit better obviously than GIC. They beat the GIC by 3.5% um, and they beat the Royal Bank stock by 2.5% or 2.48%, 4%. Again, you wanna ask yourself though, is this adequate compensation for all the pain and all the nuisance associated with running a real estate book, uh, as opposed to just sitting back and collecting a dividend check four times a year, or sitting back and collecting interest from the GIC. I would say it's not, but every person's circumstance is different and you have to look at your own situation. That's Winnipeg.